The Speaker recognizes Representative Lipton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a good bill. Um, it goes to the order of transparency in all of our schools, charter schools, the EAA, uh, as well as public schools. And I'm assuming that it was an inadvertent oversight uh, to not include educational management organizations that are serving the public school academy. Um, and the purpose of this amendment um, is to extend the prohibition on using uh, or on uh, allowing the school to use its funds for purchasing alcoholic beverages, jewelry, gifts, fees for golf, uh, fees for golf and, and any item that um, uh, the purchase or possession of which is illegal as written. Uh, so uh, this amendment would really create an even playing field and a scenario in which the charter school might perhaps, uh, in using uh, an educational management organization, could potentially allow the EMO to make these illegal purchases. And so in the um, spirit of full transparency, this amendment would include those transactions and include the educational management organization in um, what is a good bill. Um, and as has been said before, the best disinfectant uh, is, of course, sunlight. Um, and so if you have nothing to hide, then certainly um, there would be no harm in including the EMO um, in this, uh, this very good proposal. Uh, thank you, and I ask for your support. Thank you, Representative. The question before the House on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.